Hello, in this problem we're given a polynomial, big P of x, and we're asked to use synthetic division to determine if negative 4 is a 0. So let's go ahead and do it. We start by writing down the negative 4 here. We're basically dividing by x minus negative 4 when we do this. We're dividing by x plus 4. So to do that, you just take this, put it here, and then you write down the coefficients, 9, 39, and 12. So we have 9, 39, and 12. Then you draw a line. All right, and we're going to use synthetic division, and then if the remainder is 0, then we know that negative 4 is a 0. If it's not 0, then it's not a 0. So we just have to work this out and see if we get a remainder of 0. So the first thing you do with synthetic division is bring down the 9, so 9. And then you multiply 9 times negative 4 is negative 36. Then you add, so that'll give us 3. Then you multiply 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. Then you add and you get 0. Yes, that's really good. So the answer is yes, because we got 0. So if you don't get 0, the answer is no. So whenever you have a number and you're trying to determine if it's the zero of a polynomial, a really easy way to do it is just try synthetic division. You can also just plug it in, but if you do synthetic division, um, then if you get the remainder of zero, then you know that, um, that it is a zero. And if you don't get a remainder of zero, then it's not. So very, very useful. It's really fast um, to do synthetic division. I think it's easier to do this than actually plug in the number. That's just uh, my opinion, but it just seems faster. Uh, there's smaller computations usually. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.